My name is Johan Oldenkamp, and in this series of lectures I will present to you the scientific explanation of the creation. Within science we find in the heart spirituality. If we don't have spirituality in the heart of science, it's a dead science. Science without spirituality is dead and without soul. The opposite is also true. Spirituality without science is fantasy and is ungrounded. When we find spirituality in the heart of science, then I call it holy science. Everything I'm going to present to you, I also wrote down in this book called Holy Science. You'll find it on this website, pateo.nl, as a free online ebook. Holy science is the study of harmony. And harmony, we can find it through three pillars, music, geometry, and numbers. What I will show in this presentation is how we can find harmony through geometry, music, and numbers in relation to the creation. This presentation consists of six parts. In the first part, I will start talking about the seven days of the week. We all know these days, but what do they actually mean? Where do the names come from? Then I will go to the Bible. The first chapter of the book of Genesis explains the creation. I will show that it's pure science what we read there. It has nothing to do with religion. Then I will show the three pillars, numbers, geometry and music in relation to the creation because we can find the essence of creation from three different perspectives. But I will show that they are in fact all the same. I will end this lecture, this series of lectures with talking about God. There's not one God, there's one God at the top, but there are several gods below that uh, God, God at the top. So it's a hierarchy of gods, and that will I present in the sixth part. This is the first lecture. It talks about the seven days of the week. These seven days of the week are related to planets, are to lights we can see wandering in the sky. And these are the astrological symbols for these lights. It starts with Luna, then Mercury, all the way up to Saturn. How are they related to the days of the week? They're like this. Monday, we honor the moon, the moon I call Luna. On Wednesday, we honor Mercury, but it's not really clear in English. So let's look at the French words. In French, Wednesday is Mercredi, and now we see the relation between Mercredi and Mercury. On Friday we honor Venus, or Vendredi in French. On Sunday we of course honor the Sun, I call the Sun Helios. On Tuesday, or Mardi in French, we honor the planet of Mars. On Thursday, or Jeudi in French, we honor the planet of Jupiter. And finally, on Saturday, we honor Saturn. The order in which the planets are here mentioned is the order of relative movements. The number of days they need to complete a full circle, so to say. The smallest circle we find with Luna and the longest one we find with Saturn. But the order of days is a little bit different. I'll explain to you later. Here we see the moon, Luna. Sorry, Luna. We say Monday but we should actually say Moon Day, or even better, I think, Luna Day. Here we see Mars. Mars or Mar Day is Tuesday, but I think we should say Mars Day. Here we see the smallest planet orbiting around Helios. It's Mercury, the most closest one to Helios as well. Mercury in French, or we should say Wednesday instead of uh, Mercury. I mean, um, Mer Mercury Day instead of Wednesday. This is Jupiter, the biggest one of all planets around, uh, orbiting Helios. Je Day in French, I suppose we should say instead of Thursday, Jupiter Day. This is, this is Venus, I'm sorry, this is Venus. Vendredi, or Friday in English. Maybe we should say Venus Day. And this is Saturday, Saturn, or even better, Saturn Day instead of Saturday. Day. And this is the Sun Helios. We say Sunday, 
but perhaps we could say Helios Day. Here we see the astrological symbols of these seven lights in the sky. This is the slowest one and it goes all the way up to here. This is the, the, uh, this is the fastest one, this is the slowest one. These are the names. Now let us look at the days of the week. We start with Sunday or Helios Day, then we go to Luna, to Monday, then we go to Mars, Marday, Tuesday, Mercury, 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 um, Wednesday, Thursday, Jeudi, Jupiter, Friday, Vendredi, Venus, Saturday, Saturn, and all the way back to Helios, Sunday. So that's the order. It's a pure, pure beautiful rhythm, if we understand this. And we see the same rhythm when we look at the chakras. I will not go into much detail to talk about the chakras, but these also correspond to the seven lights we can see. The lowest one, Luna, corresponds to our root chakra, and the upper one, Saturn, is corresponding to our crown chakra. I think what in the Bible is called Satan isn't just a reference to Saturn. Each of these Chakras, chakra is a Sanskrit word for rotating wheel, a wheel that goes round and round. Each of these energy wheels corresponds to a pineal gland, to an to a endocrine gland. For instance, the pineal gland corresponds to the third eye chakra, or Ajna in, Ajna in Sanskrit. So this is all basic science.